Adults of Reddit, what are some of the best tips you can give to someone who just moved into their first apartment? People are living all around you, so be considerate of them and don't blast crappy music at 1am on a Tuesday. But my music choices are superior and I'm enlightening them with the stuff they're too mainstream to listen to. Cleaning your toilet once a week takes a quick swipe with a toilet brush and some toilet cleaner, and takes 45 seconds before you jump in the shower. It is far preferable to scrubbing a toilet not cleaned in months. I clean the bathroom and toilet in the nude. That way, I can just jump straight into my clean shower after I build up a sweat from cleaning. Take a picture of everything, every room, every corner. When you leave you can prove you've done no damage, or changed anything. Damage deposits are expensive. Also remember to take a picture of the readings on the water meter and electricity meter. If you have a roommate make sure they can pay the rent. Also living with friends can make you no longer friends. Good friend doesn't mean good roommate. Keep it clean while it's clean. Cause once it becomes a pit it will take forever to clean and you won't want it. Let family members know what you need. You'll be amazed at the stuff people don't use and will willingly give you. Also the Craigslist free section is not as nasty as it sounds. Rent is insurance. This. It's cheap and the only way your stuff is insured. Buy in bulk. No. Really. Buy tolly paper in bulk. For example. Because. They'll last you and help you carve budgets around without worrying about having to buy another roll and another roll and another roll. I bought a box of trash bags that had like 500 of them for like $12 a year ago, not even halfway done. Furniture, drapes, carpets and art on the walls are not only for you, they also dampen sound and keep your neighbors happy. Vinegar, baking soda, gloves, and a stiff bristled brush can clean almost anything for super cheap. To add on to this, baking soda and a teensy bit of water rubbed together and absorbed into a sponge can take black marks from scraping bumps whatever even off of painted walls. Clean on a weekly basis. 1. If you have company, they won't think you are a giant freaking slob. 2. If you leave it for a long time and crap gets real messy, it's a much bigger pain in the butt. 3. You will feel 100% better for not living in a dang crap hole. 4. If you have an unexpected guest, such as a girl boy for the night, you don't want them to walk into your pile of filth. What I've learned from living on my own for 5 years. Take photos of everything that's even slightly damaged so you have documentation to show that it wasn't you if there's a security deposit dispute. Get a plunger, a basic set of tools, and some extra batteries light bulbs. Make sure your fire carbon monoxide alarm works. Tons of people blow this off, for large items, especially furniture, buy cheap crap at yard sales or on Craigslist. People who are just starting out tend to move around a lot and you don't want to invest in a bunch of nice stuff that you can't abandon if you need to. Don't lend your roommate's money unless you're okay with never seeing it again. Don't let roommate grievances build up inside you over time. Just casually bring up any issues as they surface. Being upfront helps avoid passive aggression and other toxic interactions. Learn to cook. If possible, try to schedule a couple nights a week where one person cooks for the other roommates on a rotating schedule. It saves time and it's a great way to build in some roommate time when everyone is busy. Make friends with your neighbors so they tolerate noise when you throw parties. And invite your neighbors to the party. Don't underestimate your food budget. On top of going out you have to remember weekly grocery runs. It adds up fast. Keep your heat or AC low. The bill will seriously double with increasing your heat from 65 to 70 degrees. Buy in bulk. Food is cheaper in the long run that way. Stay on good terms with your landlord. Yup, clothes are free. That extra 2 degrees from 68 to 70 is like $50 man. My friends are all like it's always so cold here it's a 2 degree difference you baby wear long sleeves. That $50 is my gas for the month. Invest in nice stuff. It doesn't have to be new, just nice. It's better to have no couch for a month and save and get a used semi nice couch versus buy one right away that isn't comfy. Use picture frames and get a plant doesn't matter what kind. Even some kind of herb would be great. Keep your place clean. If you live by yourself literally 10 minutes before bed, or before you're ready to chill for the night, just do a quick clean. 
you will feel better if you have a clean home. Take advantage of any amenities your apartment comes with. My complex has a gym. Sure it's not the most state of the art thing but it's great to use still. Line your fridge shelves with press and seal wrap. That way once it's dirty you can just peel a layer off and put new. Things drip in there and it can be a bee to clean later. Get toilet paper and a plunger. Specifically a toilet plunger, not a sink plunger. Many toilet plungers can be converted to sink plungers but not vice versa. Turn all of your lights on at night and take a walk outside your apartment. Especially if you're on the first or second floor. You don't want your neighbors seeing your super awesome TV or dangly bits. Also if you have a cat and mini blinds remember cats go through blinds. Never around. Put up thick curtains and raise the blinds enough so the beast can get in the window without destroying everything. Wish I would have known this before my house lions ruined my blinds. Learn about the basic appliances and fixtures in your apartment. Here are a few tips. Learn where the toilet water shut off knob valve is behind under the tank. Turn this off immediately if you ever clog the toilet, even before you get a plunger. Check out the labels on the circuit breaker panel. Locate all smoke detectors in your unit. Twist one off and see if it is hardwired or battery powered or both. If these start chirping in 3 months, it means you need to put a new 9 volt battery in it. Buy a pack of AA, AAA and 9 volt batteries to keep around. See if any of your outlets in the kitchen or bathroom have little buttons on them those are GFCI outlets and may control unrelated outlets in your unit. If an outlet suddenly stops working, look for those buttons to be out. If you have a gas stove, see if you can pull the stove out. Most rental unit stoves slide pretty easily, and see where the gas line shut off valve is. If your refrigerator has an auto ice maker, pull the fridge out to locate the water box that should have a shut off valve. Locate the water box drain for your washer dryer. Locate your hot water heater. Locate the air exhaust for your dryer. It's most likely a shiny foil crinkly tube. Look at how it's connected and how easily it is to take off and replace. Clean this every 3-6 months. Get a can of WD-40 for squeaky doors windows hinges. If you have drafty windows that you don't plan on using opening looking through, research heat shrinking for windows. You basically only need a kit from the store and a hair dryer and you can save $100 is in electricity. Monitor your energy usage and turn off everything you don't need every time you're not using it. Every penny counts. Make sure you have a plastic curtain for the shower that you pull inside the shower when you use it. This one may seem like common sense but I had to replace an entire second floor bathroom floor plus floor joists because two college kids didn't know this. Purchase a small cordless drill and small toolkit for easy fixes around the apartment. Get to know you neighbors, if even only by way of a simple introduction. And get contact numbers in case there's ever an emergency. But that's about all I can think of at the moment. Comma remove the dry vent. For the love of all that is linty, do not remove a semi-rigid dry vent. There are B to get on and most lazy ass maintenance people just bend the vent to stuff it on instead of crimping the vent properly. Trying to reattach it is nearly impossible without a vent crimper, and you will end up unraveling the vent. Don't stay up late reading about serial killers, because that crap's scary when you're by yourself. I read that whole site about eons and didn't sleep for 3 days. Yo. Pay your rent like clockwork. I always found it best to just think of it as I don't have that money. Like I got paid $500 on the 10th, but rent was going to be $700 on the 30th. So that $500 never existed in my mind. Only $300 of the next paycheck existed. Learn to cook, if you haven't already. This is a great way to save money. Prior to getting my first apartment I'd eaten out a lot, and almost never had extra money. The amount of money saved with home cooking is almost mind boggling. Plan your meals for the week. My husband and I didn't live together before we were married, so making food for just myself was fine. But now that we live together, if I haven't planned what I'm going to make for dinner after I get home from work, then I find it such a chore to do. If I already know what I'm making, then it's easy. Also helps with overspending at the grocery store. At least a day in advance, if you're a person who's not into routine at the moment. Get renter's insurance. Always lock your doors, and if no one will be home, leave one light on. Lamps, get lots of lamps. Some do not have ceiling lights. Also, befriend the neighbors. 
If they like you, you can get away with more crap. Find a building with an elevator that isn't broken 75% of the time. Rent is priority numero uno every month with no exceptions. Always pet your rent on time. Have fun on the previous paycheck, not the current. In other words, at the end of the month, when the bills are paid, use what's left from last month's paycheck for fun. Don't start using what's left on this month's paycheck. That way, you avoid having to live on noodles for two weeks because you had some unexpected issue that cost money. Rent is assurance. If your neighbor floods his kitchen and ruins yours, guess what? Their insurance won't cover you or your stuff. Just a random specific example. Put 10% of your salary away. Clean everything up as soon as possible. Learn how to cook. Buy a good spatula and lots of eggs. Don't skimp on coffee, toilet paper or bedding. And for God's sake don't use a metal spatula, or anything metal, on Teflon. Can't stand seeing people using Teflon coated pans that are scratched to crap. That's now trash. Throw it away and get a new one. Or cast iron. Video walkthrough and photos of your whole apartment to document the condition of everything. Renters insurance, plunger, and meticulously check for bugs, especially bed bugs. If you find an infestation late you'll be the one getting blamed for it. Reddit adults are so primp and proper. Jerk off in the living room with the volume up, because you can. Don't do the dishes till you need more dishes. Supply and demand. Flush the toilet when you poop. Save the whales. Leave the door open when taking a shower, so no one sneaks in and kills you. Fall asleep on the couch with the TV on for hours on end. Wake up to baseball and fall back asleep again. Get a pet snake. Leave Christmas decorations up all year, so you don't have to put them away. Put up psychedelic posters in the living room. Swap out regular light bulbs for black red lights. Buy a 3 feet bong, and use it. Invite chicks over. Question mark? Profit. When making out, whenever possible, play side 2 of Led Zeppelin 4. The most sage advice here. It won't be your last apartment, but it'll always be the first. A lot of the things that are frustrating about it will become funny stories down the line so try not to sweat the small stuff. Keep it relatively clean. Even if you're alone, you'll be amazed how much a messy place can disorganize your thoughts too. It's important to keep things sanitary too obviously. Save up money. As a general rule I like to have at least 2 months rent available in my savings at all times in case of hypothetical work money emergencies. I'd argue one might want to consider more than 2 months, but heck we aren't all made of freaking money. I don't know if you have roommates. By the time you don't want to be roommates anymore, you probably aren't really friends anymore either. I went through a nasty transformation with my roommate group where two men and new individuals entered the living space at once. It seemed like everyone except for me and one other guy went freaking crazy, and I was left to be the arbiter of all the conflicts that started springing up. It seemed like overnight they started threatening to punch each other and forcing politics down my throat and such. After leaving that living situation to live with a newfound girlfriend I find myself realizing just how much I'd lost the connection I'd had with everyone in that group when I lived with them. That said if you have roommates, definitely don't be a slob. They pay for the apartment too and they shouldn't have to step around your mess, or constantly be doing your dishes or cleaning the like 8 months of back trash that you left in the freaking garage for some goddamn reason goddamn it. Who? Sorry about that. Don't get a pet until you're really well established financially. Those things are endless money sinks. That's it I guess. Skip Ikea and use thrift stores and Craigslist to furnish the place. You'll get nicer, cooler stuff and you'll spend way less. The one disadvantage is that since everything's fully assembled when you buy it, you'll need a vehicle with enough space. Sometimes on Craigslist, you can even pay the person a little extra to bring it to you. That's how I got the desk I'm currently typing on. There's no way in heck this thing would have fit in my dinky little car. Get art. Also at thrift stores. This is very important, since having empty walls in your first apartment will feel super depressing and alienating. If you're lucky, you might find legitimately good art at a thrift store, but more likely you'll find a bunch of goofy balls that you can put up anyway because it's funny. I have this corny wooden sign that says peppers on my bedroom door. If I put it above some peppers, it would look like an old lady's house on my door. 
It's weird and funny. At least I think so. Limit the amount of dishes in the apartment. If you have a lot of dishes, keep most of them in some out of the way place in case you have guests, but only keep a few in the cabinet. This means you never end up with a massive pile of dirty dishes festering in the sink. If you only have a few, the biggest the pile can get is not very big. Furnish properly. Plants, maybe some artwork. You can polish a turd with apartments. Scrub your shower regularly. Use a plastic crate box to carry in all your groceries in one trip from the car. It's way easier than trying to carry 10 plastic bags all at once. I use a giant blue IKEA bag. Think twice about banging your next door neighbor. It just gets weird. Clean sometimes. Invest in a good, loud fan to help block out loud noises often found in apartments such as noisy neighbors and people in the parking lot. Also, invest in a good quality and comfortable set of headphones so you can listen to music or play games as loud as you want. Crockpots are awesome, take up little space and are really easy to use in an apartment. One day of cooking in it can feed you for like a week. Buy a bed bug proof mattress protector. You may not have them, but others might and they can easily find their way to your room. Stay off people's radar, because once someone has it in for you, they'll be looking at ways to get you like telling on the apartment manager. So, try to be quiet and avoid getting a dog if you don't already have one, especially a poopy. Take pictures or everything. Do a full 3D sweep at least 3 times and have backups. Keep it clean. Never know who will stop by. Also get renter's insurance and a security camera. For God's sake, please clean the sucker. Not just a good vacuuming every other month. Clean it. We've all seen hoarders. You don't have to have a million of something to make your apartment look like you have a rat or two that you forgot about. Use your kitchen. By that I mean don't eat out. Cook make your own meals. You'll save a ton of money. And believe me you'll need it. Visit stores establishments within walking distance, if possible. Even if it's just to buy a soda or something at the corner store, it's good to be known in the neighborhood. Similarly, get to know your neighbors a bit. Don't be a stranger. Knock on a few doors when you move in, and either introduce yourself, or if you need a tool, ask a neighbor to borrow theirs before buying your own. Then make sure you actually buy your own. If you're living by yourself for the first time, you may get lonely or scared. It's always better in the morning. Learn some basic cooking skills if you don't have them already. Only accept second-hand furniture from people you know. Talk to your landlord about their policies preferences before you paint. Don't get a pet right away. Hang some art posters in frames. Get a few plants. Figure out your total monthly living here budget, including rent, food, and all utilities. Once the place is a bit together, start inviting some friends over regularly. It's amazing how quickly time can go by when you live by yourself, and suddenly it's been 2 months since you had anyone over. You have to be a bit proactive about it. If your place doesn't have a dishwasher, make sure you have a good drying rack, a good sink drain stopper filter, and a good set of dish towels. If you live nearby and have a good relationship, invite your parents over once in a while. They'll appreciate it, and probably bring stuff. Don't just rely on the heating and cooling. If it's at all nice out, open the windows and get some fresh air in. Don't count on getting your security deposit back. I just wanna expand on this to say in general, don't count on money not already in your bank account. If it's a monthly payment, then sure, budget around that, but don't budget off of money that you think should be coming your way. For example, tax refund, gift money, stocks. You have been visited by the distinguished doggo of delicious delicacies. Comment tasty supper, papa and be blessed with delectable dishes for the next decade. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.